I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound. Today I'm very excited and very proud to help launch a brand new synth from a brand new synth company. The company is Ashen Sound Machines and their brand new synth right out of the gate is the Hydra Synth. Now I know from reading your comments, some of you are gonna to wanna to hear all about all the specs and some of you are gonna to wanna to hear all the sounds. So for the first time ever, we're gonna do both videos in the same day. We're gonna do the sound video and we're gonna do the deep dive video. So this one is the sound video. So if you wanna hear more specs, go to the other video. But I will talk a little bit about it. What is it? It is an eight voice digital synthesizer that comes in both a keyboard form and a desktop form. It has five envelopes, it has five LFOs plus a sixth LFO just for vibrato. The keyboard is polyphonic aftertouch, yay. It has a full length keyboard ribbon, a really nice modded pitch wheel, and everything that you need to get to is right there on the front panel. And then there are eight macro knobs, and each macro can have eight different things happening at the same time based on what that knob's doing. The arpeggiation section, there are eight dedicated knobs here, no menu diving. The entire map here of both the audio chain and the control chain are also the buttons you hit to edit that section. So the first patch I'm going to show you is something I made called Ribbon Trippin. And I made it specifically to test the filters and there are a lot of filters in here. And it's kind of like all of these features are pointless if I don't like the filter and I love these filters. And the best way to find that out is to do the trick that I always do, which is take a low frequency sawtooth wave, play it into a low pass filter with lots of resonance, sweep the filter into a ping pong delay that's going back and forth. And if I like that sound almost every time, that means I'm gonna love those filters. I don't know why those two correlate as well as they do, but here we go. So here's your low frequency. verdict is in. I love these filters. Here's another one I made called Bugs in Love. What I'm doing is showing off the polyphonic aftertouch and each finger independently is choosing the amount of FM modulation, making these bugs sing together. And then I get to show this amazing feature on the ribbon, which is called theremin mode. And when you set it to that mode, you can now play the ribbon just like a theremin, independent of the notes you're playing on the keys. So first I'll show off the polyphonic aftertouch. So here's another one that I do. I like to run white noise into the filter and then sweep the filter, having tracking the keyboard and try and play notes only with the white noise going into the filter. And it tends to make these beautiful angelic voices. And I call this patch Water Angels. Here is something that I made called Roll Your Groove that uses all of these different LFOs that restart every time you trigger a key that kind of create this sequential motion, but it's not a sequencer, it's not an arpeggiator. Um, it just has to do with the order that you hold the keys.
So here's another one I made to show off FM, frequency modulation. It's called Alien Cello. So I was going for something that's cello-like but kind of bizarre. And it's just a really great way of showing off the FM features on this thing. And I should show you a little bit about the macros. So for every preset, there are eight macros, which are basically knobs that allow you to control each of them up to eight parameters in any amount in any direction. You also have a button that can be toggle or momentary that also does something to eight different parameters at depths. What I made here is a patch called Ripper Lead that allows you to basically try out all the waves that are in this thing, and there's tons of waves. And I've given you every parameter that I thought you would need to just design your own lead. So I'll just kind of show you that. So as, as I start out. And so now in the macro, so for the first thing I have wave select. So without having to dive or anything, I could just grab this knob and start trying all the waves that are available. And so you have a nice lead. And right now it's on sawtooth and I can just slowly go through all of the waves. I'm just going to stop on this one. There are many, many more. But now I can add, for example, a sub octave. I can add some ensemble to these sounds. I can add some more reverb. I can lengthen the reverb time all the way up to freeze. And I have to say, the effects on these are gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, so now I also have knobs set up for delay, so I can turn that up. the delays and many of the other effects and all of the LFOs and all the envelopes can lock the clock so that when you do turn on this amazing arpeggiator, it does the right thing.
So you might have noticed that as I'm changing the tempo, which you can change both by knob and by tap tempo at all times, very cool, that is changing the delay time in the ratio that I have set with the unit of the beat. Okay, I get it, you don't wanna hear any more about that, you just want me to play it, so let's play it.
told you it was an amazing synthesizer. Anyway, if you have any further question about the Hydrosynth keyboard or the Hydrosynth desktop, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.